Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we're here today at Ray's Indoor Mountain Bike Park, and we're here with General Manager Keith Miller. Thanks so much for taking time, Keith. No problem. We've got a full house here today. I appreciate you, you stopping and talking with us. Grand reopening here for 2010. Park's been here for what, six years now? This is our seventh season. Seventh season? Yeah. You've really come a long way. It's, it's something like, what, 130? thousand square feet 135,000 square feet no kidding yeah and you keep adding new stuff and you keep improving the stuff you do have what's this room we're in here this is called the rhythm room or something it's the Troy Lee designs rhythm room and it's basically designed for the jumper in mind yeah so it's a little more advanced riding so that's you know where we like to keep all the rhythm in this room in this room <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, you got a bunch of different rooms you got a beginners room yeah. for people and uh, Monday night is, is beginners night as well? That's right. Monday night the beginners can come out and uh, pretty soon we're going to be offering some private lessons. Really? So that'll be nice for the Monday nighters so they'll be able to sign up for some lessons if you're, in, if you're a beginner and you just want to learn how to get over and some And that's of great because a lot of people really haven't been to a place like this. This is really designed for folks who uh, have nowhere to go in the winter around here. They're out maybe in the summer on the trails or out, out doing their thing. Right. But in the winter in, in this part of the world, where do you go? And so Ray's came along. Unless you're a super hardcore mountain biker that like to ride in the snow with studded tires. Yeah. Most of us aren't that hard, hardcore, so this is the place this to be. This is the place. And you got everything from beginners to you even got a, you got an expert room as well, as well right? Yep. It's got like yep. elevators and teeter-totters and... Yeah, all kinds of real, like super technical stuff that's more expert minded but uh, we have just about something for everybody and you're catering to ma mainly two different types of bike riders right you get your BMXers and that's more the tricks and the flips and the jumps mm -hmm. and then you got your cross country right and you made some improvements to your cross country trail this year that's right a cross country loop really is the foundation for the park that's what it was built for the cross country riders it just so happened that a lot of the BMXers really enjoyed riding a lot of the skinnies and the cross-country stuff. Seriously. So they really enjoy it as well. So it's uh, it's a win-win for everybody. Now, Ray's has gone through a transformation here. After all these years, Ray finally hit the big time, and, and it's, it was basically bought by Trek, the bike company. That's right. And they, they said to, to Ray, hey, they're, they're located in Milwaukee, correct? They're located in um, Waterloo, Wisconsin. Gotcha. Yeah, which is just outside of Milwaukee. And they said, hey, we need a, we need a park around here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. They said, well, you know, we want to be a part of it, and uh, we would like one in our backyard. Seriously. So what do you think? So Ray says, I built one, I can build another, so they're going to be opening that. So he's doing that, and he's, he's opening basically a second bike park still gonna be called Ray's still gonna be Ray's <laughs> it's indoor Ray's. bike park it's amazing because he's he is a carpenter by trade and that's exactly what you see here is a lot of hand built everything nothing yeah. like this in the world you know of any other place like this they say first in the world you're not really finding these are you yeah it is the first in the world but there are there there is one other one besides us no kidding yeah that is amazing so well listen congratulations with your new season good luck here you got hundreds of people. How many people can you fit in here? You have you have no idea, do you? It's, it's no. We're not going to know. Right. <laughs> we're not going to know until after the season. So you really, you really have no idea how many people you can fit in here, right? I mean, it's, you can fit hundreds of people in here at one time. That's right. Um, we don't really have numbers yet, but we will at the end of the season, so we'll get a better grasp on how many people we have in here, but we can fit a lot of people. And you're working with the local Holiday Inn. You're filling a lot of hotel rooms. People are coming here from, I'm looking at license plates out in the parking lot, from uh, Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, they're, they're literally seven, eight states. And to even top that, we had a carload of kids and parents from Alaska today. Seriously? Absolutely. They drove? Well, they, they flew in, but they flew into a spot and then they drove from that. No so kidding. They brought their bikes? They they're, brought they're their bikes. bikers? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Absolutely. They gave us a call about two months ago, started making plans. 
<laughs> and I much. couldn't believe it. So we've had people from all over the world come, but these I think are our first customers from Alaska. That's that's got to be a record, dude. That's awesome. Hey, good luck with things this this year. Stay in touch, and we'll stay in touch with you as well. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Keith. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.